In a recent tutorial, I showed how to make this simple game where the stick man has to collect the Coke cans. In this tutorial, I'll show you how quick and easy it is to reuse code to make new games like this driving game. The starting point for this tutorial is the My Simple Car project. If you haven't got the project, click the i icon for a link to the tutorial that will show you how to set up the project. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click the Project Manager button. Click Hide Stock Projects and scroll down to find the My Simple Car project. It's a good idea when developing a project to make a copy of the project. Click Clone Project and call the copy My Simple Car 2 and clone. I'm now going to append the Coke cans into the Blender file of the copied project. Click the link for the file. I could append from the Coke can file, but it is quicker and easier to append from the Stickman game file. This is the file. You can download both files from my website. Click on the file to go into it, into the object folder and select the first Coke can and append. Click on the can to select it. Use the green arrow to move it back. Click the physics button and see the physics is already set up. Object physics is ticked. The can has a unique collision ID and the collision bounds is set to cylinder. Append the other cans in. Use the tip of the red arrow to move the can back. To save the changes to the Blender file and to update the JSON file at the same time, File Export Blend for Web JSON. Make sure you're in the My Simple Car 2 folder and export and go back to Project Manager. Now we have to add the code to the project's JavaScript file. Click the edit link. Click the link for the JavaScript file, the .js file. The code I'm going to copy over is from the Stickman project. I'll put the JavaScript file for you to download at my website. I've opened the file in a text editor. I'm using Notepad++, but you can use any text editor. The first thing to copy over is the extra modules needed. Right click and copy. Notice that the scenes module is already in the file, so I'm going to highlight it, right click and paste. Next to be copied over is a global variable for the score and a constant for the number of cans to be collected. Highlight, right click, copy. Insert a blank line, right click and paste. The next bit of code has to go in the load callback function the function that is called once the scene has been loaded. Find the load callback function. We have to copy over calls to two functions, the create text display function and the create collision sensors function. Highlight, right click, copy. Insert a blank line, right click and paste. Next, I'm going to copy over the create text display function. Right click, copy, click, right click and paste. The next and final function to copy over 
does require some changes. The Stickman character is in a cage. The cage collides with the Coke cans. For the car, we have to replace cage with chassis. My text editor has a replace facility which makes the change easier. Now we can highlight the function and copy it over. Right click, copy, insert a blank line, right click and paste. Save the changes and go back to projects. Now when we click the link for the HTML page, Hopefully everything will work and we can play the game. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.